Hi guys, welcome to this Microsoft Access course. In this module, I want to look at how to create an update query that will adjust your stock levels as you use them through a form. So in this little database, I have a service form. If I open that, where it will work like this. If I select a type of service, 30 hour service on a machine, and I select an item that I need for that service, in this case, top cover, it tells me that I have 200 top covers in stock, which is great. I need to use 10, say, for this service. And then when I click away from that, it does an update query. It runs an update query in the background. Yes, yes. And then it reduces that by 10. Look, there's your stock table. And then when I click on non, that small form closes down. So how is all that working? If I close that down for a minute, the stock table that was on 200 now it's gone to 190 this is the end product that's what i'm trying to do to get that to work you need to create queries so for the service table here is a query that carries out that action so first of all if i open these up a bit so you can see what's going on here's a stock table in the query and first of all i've added the quantity field this is an update query so normally it would be select now it's update so it says there the quantity field this quantity in the stock table minus whatever's been used quantity wise from that form that form this one whatever's been used there now if I just did that and left it like that it would do that for every item in the stock which is obviously not what I want to do. So I need to qualify this update query with a criteria for the stock ID. The stock ID is the item used. So the item used was this, one of these, top cover, bottom cover, or lid. So now the update query is only going to update the quantity change for that field, the item used. Now, if I just redo this, from scratch let's just delete this off and go back to design put it back to select so this is how it would normally be so you'd come into design uh, create your query you want an update query which changes this information so you so you have that update line you need to add a table so it's a stock table I need to just drag into here and then the first column was the quantity the second column was the stock ID now it's a quantity that we're updating. So I'll just make a bit of space on this. So this one's going to say the field quantity, QTY, minus what comes through the form. So open square bracket, type the word forms, close the square bracket, and then do an exclamation. And then you have to give it the name of the form, which is also in square brackets, FRM, TBL service square bracket closed another exclamation mark and now you need to refer to the field in that form which was quantity used to close a square bracket so that's what you want to happen but you need to have it happening by a product so in this column the criteria has to be this again it's forms because you're looking at the information coming from form exclamation mark between these referencing the the same table missed out tbl there tbl so the form tbl service close the square bracket another exclamation mark and now you need to refer to the field that you want to look at so it's going to be stock item used, close a square bracket. So that is the criteria. Just check that that's spelt correctly. And then save this and then close it. And let's just see if it works. If it doesn't work, it's probably a typo on my part. But you select an item. As you come down, top cover, that pops up. I'm going to use 10 runs the query yeah goes down to 180 none 
closes that. Excellent. So what's happening here is the query is doing all the work, but I've I've got macros attached to these boxes that's actually doing the job. So if I go into design on this one, let's have a look what's happening. So stock item used, open form stock level. There's a macro, open form stop stock level on click. Open form, let's right click on that. Design view. So it's just basically opening up that form stock level. It's doing nothing else other than that. So I'll close that one down. Next box down, quantity used, stock update service. Okay, so this one, right click. That's just opening that query. So remember the query is where the work is getting done. And on this last one, Mac close stock level form, which is that pop-up form that comes up uh, when you're in this, so just go and have a look at that. So when you are there, this. So the macro on this box closes um, this form down. It's on this one actually. And that's how all that works. So, slightly complicated, I do know, but if you follow this through and watch it a couple of times, you should be able to recreate a stock update database because that's what you do need to do if you've got products that you are selling obviously you would have to reorder stock that's another set of instructions you can give it or you could manually just import the stock into the stock table i've got reorder levels set there that's just a calculation so somebody who's managing this stock would be looking at that and then reordering whenever the levels hit you might want to create a form or a macro to pop up to tell you when you're getting close to your reorder levels but that's all I want to talk about for this session. Thank you for your time and I'll catch you later.